Genesis Nerd. And not only that, but it's our 50th episode. 50th. 50 episodes from the time I started to now. Gotta say it's been a good run so far. 50. Okay. We finally have a name for my sidekick. It's SJ. SJ. Say a little something. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be saying his least favorite to his top favorite. We're doing, he's doing seven video games. I'm doing seven games today. And I will show off. Basically, the this will be the Halloween episode, I guess you could say. And wait till the 30th. Basically, I got, I gathered seven games, which I find to be in the kind of the Halloween scary slash movie horror, horror movie game era now some of the best uh horror games i done i've already done which were splatterhouse two and three maybe you could do those on halloween just to review them over again mm, maybe i might we'll see what we'll see what happens we'll see how uh how this goes and everything as Sega Genesis nerd plays games, I'll be naming them off. I won't be showing pictures. He'll show you pictures in his early previews with the um, intro. Basically, yeah. He's going to probably play like five, ten minutes of one game. Maybe yeah, about maybe. Eh, maybe about a couple minutes per and game. And then for his main top number one, he'll probably play for a little while. Play long. a little bit longer, yeah. Basically, there's seven games, so I don't want to make this super long video. I just want to basically go over the games that I picked for this occasion, this 50th episode Halloween thing that I, I, I want to do. Alright, basically we're going through the least favorite of the group to probably the best in that order. That way you get the bad ones out of the way and you get the good yeah, ones. Yeah, um, I want to show my new book I got today. This is her new book. How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. It's not for kids. Pause for effect. Yeah, it's not for kids. Okay. I also got Zombie Cat, the book, somewhere. But it can be an IA right now. Anyway, let's... Let's get this game and rockin' for the 50th episode. First game... I'm not, I'm not gonna show it. I'm just gonna tell it. Tell it? Yeah, and you're gonna play it. Alright, she's just gonna tell it, you're gonna see it. And you're gonna watch him play. You're gonna watch me play. Alright, here we go. Game one. Okay, good. He's gonna play and I'm gonna read it to you. And that's the fur you want me to show up on the screen. On the one. Actually, you know what? I'll just show on the screen. And I'll read it to you. I'll come over here and I'll read what it is. See that? Toxic Crusaders. Number one. I'll, wait, um, number seven, I mean. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. The Sea Crusaders is the number seven in the year of 1992. 1992. It's based off of a series of. I don't know if it's comic books or movies done by Trauma. I think it's yeah, it's a it's a character created by Trauma, and they made a movie called The Toxic Avenger, and they basically based uh, this game is based off that character, which is uh, Toxie. He's some green dude. That looks like an alien. Well, basically, what happened was he was a human that got exposed to toxic waste and he became a super kind of like a superhero but that was a demo people that was a demo okay now that we're settled the second genesis nerd is going to be playing the real deal here as you seen the intro of it before he just has to push the start button and get things going here's Toxic Crusader talking. Stop. 
Sorry about that. Too many technical difficulties on this. Let's raise the continues to five because I'm not very good at this. Um, I guess it's easy. easy. Okay. Let me see what the toxic bundle of joy has to show you. I never really played this game that much because I thought it was kind of weird. He just bought it from what I, his collection. Basically, it's from a collection. So he's on a skateboard that has flames in I have no idea what to do. Might have to trade it cars too. Yeah, you get you get killed if you get one. Get on the skateboard again. Maybe help. It looks like they're a power of vomit when you kill them. My guess is you're supposed to hit these guys to collect this goo stuff, maybe? Uh, like I said, I never really... It's done. Okay. Get back on the skateboard. It looks like Miss Pac-Man got pissed and left Mr. Pac-Man. It is a very complicated situated game. That's why I never really got into it. The NES version is pretty bad, too. Do you own the NES version? No, I don't. I don't really have a lot of NES games. He's more into Sega. I'm more into the Sega Genesis. I think you're just supposed to go run around and kill bad guys or something. I never really grasped the concept of this game very much. Hey, nerd. What's up? Does it look like Miss Pac-Man is pissed? A little bit. So how long have you been playing Sega? I've been playing Sega since I was probably about three or four years old. So about 20, 21 years ago. Yeah. Okay. That was toxic. Level two, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Now it turned into like a brawler almost. It's a very confusing game. I like how it talks. It looks like the hornet from Gerard's symbol. I like how it says go like um on Golden Axe and Streets of Range too. Whoa. Right, like I said, I'm only gonna play a little bit of each game. I'm gonna, so when I die, and I know I am gonna die soon, I'm gonna pop in the next. And she'll tell you all about it. If you're looking for any Halloween costume spooky titles, that's when you should pick up Ed. Oh, okay. I'm in a helicopter now. <laughs> Weird. You got Miss Pac-Man. She's best. Alright, anyway, that is Toxic Crusaders, basically based off of a game by Trauma, Toxie, very odd, bizarre game. I if you're into that much. And if you're into odd games, this will be one of them you should pick up. Pick it up at your local retailer store. Alright, next game. Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Based off of the movie, 1992, made by Sony ImageSoft. Pop it into Sega and give it a play. 
I basically believe this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a platformer. Very different from the Sega CD version. I believe this is kind of like a platformer, almost like uh, Revenge of Shinobi. But like I said, I never got... It's kind of like Aladdin. It's got that Aladdin feel to it. It looks like Aladdin. It and it's got a mixture of like Mickey Mania feel to it. It looks like it killed those rats with their big long sword, whatever it is. I'm already almost dead. Try to play for a couple minutes. It looks like it's some kind of village music. Maybe if they let a bat bite you to turn into Dracula. If I saw something like that walking around, I'd be like freaking out. He'll probably die. I'd like to know how I died. Oh, there's a spike there. There's nobody hit you that didn't hit you. I suck at this game. I think I defeated the first boss. That was pretty simple. Harper's escaped from the castle. Hmm. I wonder when he turns into Dracula. I don't think this guy does. I think this guy's supposed to stop him. Would you shoot yourself if you see that little spider or just that big spider? Just that big one. I mean, little ones scare me too. I'm not very big on spiders. So. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? It's my last life, guys. some kind of foggy tune. I'm guessing you have to fight that. I'll make the rare occasion and continue. I didn't get that much. I have a chance, so keep continuing. But this is the only continue I'll do in this game, just because I want to see what the next boss looks like. After that, we will not. Seriously? Kill this spider. Kill it so we can't have babies. Okay, babies. <laughs> Those windows look like they have eyes. Is it the hills have eyes? Is the windows have eyes? Boss. Nah, this will be the last continue. 
Who just kill those spiders so they don't multiply? I'm trying. Oh. Man. I'm pretty bad at this game. That was Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, based off of the movie. Platformer, and not really a very good one. Alright, next, next game. Is next called... game. Another movie game. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Made by the same company who made that. It was created in Sony in 94. Sony Image Soft in, yeah, 1994. Based off of the movie, just like the last game. This one, I believe, like the other one, is a platformer. And once again, not a very good one. That'll be perfect if you're into the whole Frankenstein slash Dracula series. It's the same company that they made. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Mickey Mania. There you go. Mickey Mania. Jelly's Frankenstein. Mary Shelley must always dream of having a monster with her life. Right. Alright. Well, let's see. I can tell you one thing all right off the bat. It's slow. I don't know if this is intentional in the game, but it is slow. I think you play as Frankenstein. that you have to beat on. That's probably it. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what Frankenstein reminds me of? 
the Hulk. This game is very stupid. Okay. I don't like it very I much. I saw you. I was done a second part of this. And now we've saved the top. Oh, never mind. The four I forgot. Games. And we're gonna be doing the third video. We're getting into the better ones. Yeah. These these are the better ones, and then we got the two best ones out of the bunch. Okay. These are the better ones. This one's called. The, uh, I know. Devilish, a Sega creation. By Sage's creation in 1992. This is kind of like a, uh, almost like a pin, uh, like a, like Arkanoid. I think, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I played it, but basically you shoot your way, and you got like a ball. That's a little bit better to play these games because they're, they're too bright, and I've had that problem in the past with bright games. But anyway, this is devilish by Sage's Creation. That's what this game's about. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure this is kind of like an Arkanoid style game. Yeah, see? Arkanoid. Basically, your goal is to keep that ball, and you also gotta face these, like, bats and these. The guns, you always born bats. Yeah. Oh, and you can change your, uh, positions of your, um, your paddle, which I think is pretty kind of funny. But yeah, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a dark version of Arkanoid, in my opinion. Check that out. That's that's pretty cool. We have to save Ozzy Osbourne and his wife and kids. <laughs> no, not really.
think it's kind of neat that you got two paddles. Whereas like any other kind of Arkanoid style game, you got one, and it, it seems like it's a little bit harder, but this one is like, it's easy. Yeah, you just get it square on the two foot in about three and a half minutes. I think that's the goal, yeah. You're supposed to basically break your way through in three minutes and s see what your score is. Uh, uh, that's pretty funny. so good too. Devilish by Sage's Creation. It's like a darker version of Arkanoid, that's really all I can say. You got bosses, and you're basically breaking your way to get to the bosses. I like that zipper effect, that's pretty cool. And then it goes back to the Sega menu. Okay, ready for next game? Yeah. Yeah, let's get to back to the next game. Okay. Okay. Next game. Ooh, this one's a fun one. In 1991. And it's by Electronic Arts and it is called The Immortal. The Immortal. It's kind of like an RPG almost. Electronic Arts is very. It's like, uh. Oh, man. It's like those walking point-and-click games where basically you, it's not like a point-and-click game it's like a uh, it's those games where you basically like you pick up magic and you fight bosses and stuff and I like it, that it cool. that's a pretty cool intro look at that, that, is, that Reaper. Grim Reaper Skull I should play it, don't fear the Reaper so we don't need to be sued for copyright infringement. Hmm? What? What? What do you say, Genesis there? And there we go. This is basically, uh... This is based off an NES game. This is like a 16-bit version of it. Why did you pick the Sega over Nintendo in there? Yeah. Why did you pick the Genesis over Nintendo? I like the Gen. I like the Genesis. I like the music. I like. Do you believe that it has more better sound effects? Do you? Do you hear? What? Do you believe that it has more sound effects? It's got a better everything. Even pictures. Checked out those graphics. I mean, that's awesome. I like kids nowadays. We're all all is about like Grand Theft Auto and stuff. Grand Theft Auto Five sucks. Seriously? You 
Anyway, I'm done playing. It's like a point and click, or kind of basically guide your way to, uh, I'm trying to think of games that are like that. I want to say Ultima's like that, but I'm not 100% sure Ultima's like this game. But it's the Immortal. It's kind of a creepy game, and I, I thought it was kind of interesting when I first played it. So, there you have it, the Immortal. Next game. And here we go, our top, my top two, top two favorite okay. Genesis games out of this group. And this one's actually the oldest one I've seen. came out in 1984. This one is better than the NES versions by far. And everybody will agree. You ready? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters for the Genesis. I've been with her for two years. I thought it was two years, four months, and... If you want to get technical. So six. Yeah. Where did you meet her? Where did you meet her? I met her at Gemini Park. Why is this game not starting? How old is she? Sorry about that. I had difficulties getting it started for some reason. Check out this cool intro though. play as Raymond in this game. Because he's slow? Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> Look at those 84 graphics. The game wasn't made in 84. What was it the movie? The movie was. The game was made like, I don't even know, probably 88, 89. No, it was made in 89, because the machine was made, released in 89.
six picks off of like, um, I'm trying to think what can mean when I have spikes. Tomb Raider, I don't think I have spikes. my number two favorite uh, game out of this bunch of games that I picked. Like I said before, the, the best uh, scary games that I did for the Genesis, I've already did them already. Splatterhouse and uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. They talk about uh, Just like how the tablecloth made it look like a ghost. Okay? Tattoo is a crow. Well, because it's your favorite animal. Basically, you just capture the ghosts, and yeah, just like the, it's a lot better than the other ports, a lot better than the other Ghostbuster games that they made. This was one of the better ones. And now, the grand finale game. Can I have a drum roll, people? 
Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, my kids. Come on. Come on, drum roll. Best game I saved for this group for the last is... Ghouls and Ghosts! First there was ghouls, Ghosts and Goblins on the NES, then there was ghosts, Ghouls and Ghosts on the Genesis, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo. May we have an applause, people! For the, I was originally, I was originally gonna do a review on this game a long time ago, but I got so upset at the game, and you can hear me like shout and stuff in the background, profanity and stuff. That I decided not to, so I just decided to add it into a uh, like a video, like a like something like this. Basically, you're this night guy running around destroying things, and basically it's like a one hit and you're dead kind of thing. Well, two hits if you have armor. hiding all these uh, spikes. That's what I mean by the one hit kills thing. That's why I, this game is frustrating. It's very hard. Said I couldn't get through it very far without me uh, screaming and hollering, so I didn't want to do that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll give you a fuck if you go away. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is the Genesis nerd saying thanks for sticking around for a while. It's been a good uh, Halloween episode. It's been a while since I made one episode, just been busy with things, so uh, 